Hi, this is Nicholas Bell with Ion Cinema here to review I Used to Go Here, uh, the fourth film directed by Chris Ray, uh, who uh, before this was known as Chris Swanberg, uh, now the ex-wife of director Joan Swanberg, uh, which will be released August 7th, 2020, uh, in digital and demand, courtesy of Gravitas Adventures. Uh, it concerns uh, a woman, a 35-year-old woman named Kate Conklin, who has just published her first novel, uh, and just as the, that great news has happened to her, uh, her book tour is canceled due to low sales. Uh, she's played by Gillian Jacobs. Um, and just as she learns that, she receives a box of uh, wedding invitations to her own wedding that has now been called off because she's been left by her fiancé, which she's still kind of reeling from. Uh, with uh, nothing really going on, she jumps at the opportunity to be invited uh, back to her uh, old college campus in Carbondale, Illinois, uh, at the behest of her uh, old professor David, played by Jamon Clement, uh, who she used to have a crush on. Uh, so acting probably as a way to escape her current situation, she uh, goes and lectures, um, has some student meetings, uh, sees that uh, Mr. Clement is now married in a uh, relationship that's turned sour. Um, as she rekindles uh, old relationships, uh, everything, her trip down memory lane seems to be kind of uh, an unpleasant one until she, uh, staying at a bed and breakfast, which has its own side plot, that uh, she sees her house next door that she used to live in and goes and re-examines it and becomes invested in the lives of those college students there, which leads to some shenanigans and some personal growth slash re-examination of her own uh, goals and limitations, uh, their own boxes she's placed herself in uh, as, a, as a serious writer. Um, there's a lot of predictability to this film. It feels very familiar. Uh, however, it does end with a pair of scenes that do finally get to the sincerity of Ray's uh, scenario, as in uh, how nostalgia can be death and how sometimes uh, revisiting our, our former selves can uh, make us realize why we started doing what we're doing in the first place uh, and, and how maybe taking it less seriously could make it better. Um, so that's commendable. Uh, it's got a familiar supporting cast. Once again, Zoe Chow is cast as somebody's best friend that has nothing to do but be supportive, uh, which kind of how it needs to be the roles that Jacob's always uh, occupied. So it's kind of, it's nice to see her uh, center stage, but uh, it, it's very, it's a very melt toast, one note uh, kind of narrative uh, with lots of the uh, drama, dramatic catalyst happening, feeling very manufactured uh, and inauthentic. Uh, Josh Wiggins, uh, who's been in a few things, shows up for Good Luck from The Revenant. Uh, Hannah Marks, uh, of course, uh, for recently from Banana Split. Um, all make little impressions. Uh, it's just that there's nothing that would be able to classify this film as any one thing over the other. Um, for that reason, uh, I would give the film two out of five stars. Thank you. Hey, this is Eric from MyOwnCinema.com. If you want to support us, subscribe below. For more reviews, interviews, film festival coverage from Sundance, Cannes, Toronto, you want to check out these guys on this side.